Very, very surprised. Ooh, and bans are happening. Let's see what bans we can get here. Do you want to be Scoobert Dude? Do you want to be <coughs> Bimsley? What should I be calling you, man? Uh, you just call me Scoob, I guess. Oops. All right, Scoob. Uh, so earn that Scooby snack. Uh, give us a rundown of uh, the importance of banning in League. Okay, so the, basically the whole point of like banning is obviously you can limit your, um, you can limit the champion pools of each team. Um, that's going to be really important, especially in finals because you're uh, banning out meta champions, banning out uh, people that you think are obviously going to be a problem on the team. So far, looks like LeBlanc and Oriana ban for pretty strong right now. So, all right, I'm going. Looks like I, I, uh, I'm personally like friends with the CW team, and uh, I, I played with them a little bit. It looks like they're just banning you can't me for right now right now on each side, kind of standard. Mm -hmm. But it will be interesting to see what they So do. I go. Shut ban. Pretty standard. It's pretty standard. CW mostly, honestly. Fine. I don't need more enemies. They're basically just banning the stuff they don't want to play against, I take it? Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Every yeah, they do some research, right? On the team yeah. sometimes. And they like to uh, see their most played characters and ban those characters. Yeah, that's basically, <laughs> that's basically what it is. But yeah. How's it going there, Sausage Flex? Toaster Frames, Voltaire, Simon Sausage Flex, again, Hardcore, Sea Dragon. What's up, guys? So, uh, Why the Scoob LB is the Scoob is the league expert, and upside down and I are just uh, smiling just in the, the background. Fun. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're here we're... to make jokes about stuff. Pretty much. <laughs> Scoob's here to be the uh, big brain, and we're uh, we're color at best. What's up, Simon? Yeah. The flex. Awesome. Right here. I'm not sure if that's a good matchup, but uh, I think it works. Both are real strong champions right now. My lord, this. Jax looks like he's gonna be a Jax champion. Oh, I like Nunu. That's a fun character. Yeah. It's like the like a mech or something. That's yeah. That's one of his skins. Yeah, yeah. He's a big old yeti. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, Nunu's also been really good for a while. For a couple seasons, he's been played a whole bunch in pretty much every level of play. Right, hardcore. Get that Nunu hype going. <laughs> Tarek support? Tarek's real fun. I like Tarek. I think uh, he's been getting a lot more play recently because um, I think he meshes well, especially with like Misfortune. Which is really important. Thank you there, James. But, um, yeah. Be interesting to see if they'll pick mid lane here, though. Well, it looks like they're picking support, so. ADC and uh, and um, mid lane are gonna be the last two picks. We'll see how they ban them out. Shout casting's kind of quiet volume wise. Is there still echo? Uh, no echo. We're just quiet apparently. Uh, yeah. I just turned everything back up again. Let Should us know how we're here. doing, sausage. <laughs> are you new, new, more like no, no. Please don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I dig it. It's a little better, says Toaster. <coughs> you just watch such a fun character because all you do is uh, basically all you do in the early game um, is as soon as you hit level two, you get snowball. Uh, you roll into any one of the lanes and you're guaranteed to get a flash because people are absolutely terrified of you. Damn, that's a that's pretty uh, impressive value <laughs> for one character. Yeah, uh, at like higher tier play, people usually expect it coming or like, you know, they won't flash, but like kind of like low level play like this, you're almost guaranteed to get a flash no matter what lane you go to. People are just so scared of it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but Nunu's going to have a full yeah, lot of like hard CC team fight ability. They banned the Misfortune, which is really a problem uh, in the last uh, series with CW. Okay. Um, see what they, they rely do. on misfortune quite a bit. 
not usually, but they know how to play well her, around her real well. So that's like the whole thing. Pick up Aphelios. I uh, I play um, with the uh, with their bot lane a lot, their ADC a lot. So uh, I'm personally going to be yelling at him every single time he slips up. But <laughs> please do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna pick Quirky here, maybe. Yeah. Ah. That's also been something that uh, the mid laner has been running a whole long. John Cook, who is a god amongst men, I must say. <coughs> he did lose to Tyler 1, though, so. Oof. <laughs> so it's like Quirky in the lane and Bane in the John Cook, last pick, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to be picking mid lane last. So if Elio's Braum in the bot lane, I'm interested to see how that well that works, because Braum's just a fun support character to play, but... Alright, chat. Feel free to uh, talk to us. We're here for you. Uh, check out the socials for Emerald Esports as well. And it'll give, uh, it'll give Upside Down and I more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Always true. I'm going to be like, oh, oh look, a dragon. Ooh, look. A horseshoe <laughs> crab? Is that what that is? I mean, okay. I, I, I know a little bit. I know what a baron is. And <laughs> the other one. Mean. Is Baron like the 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 like the not, thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big old serpent thing. It's yeah. like a cobra, right? Like just a big Yeah. It's more like a I'm not sure what it is. It's kinda like a big old snake. It's a baron. That's snake. what it is. Yeah. John is. Cook on Cassadin, games on a timer now. If he hits level sixteen, it's over. Oh that's just as soon as the game hits like twenty minutes, it's always over with John Cook. Because he just he Listen, he plays real aggressively, so like in the early game, he'll like trade a whole bunch, but then once yeah. it's a late game, he has like 300 farm and he just uh, stomps everybody. Oh my That's god. That's true. That's smart. <laughs> Cast a win over here. I know a little bit about this game that says, and then that other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, don't make fun. Keep making fun. Keep making fun, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, obviously I'm personally biased, but uh, I had to also <coughs> outcast the last uh, MLD Sports uh, finals uh, with League of Legends. I did Overwatch too, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. But, uh, Which the, one uh, were you for Overwatch? <laughs> with the cream roll, was, stream roll. I was screwed for Overwatch. I, uh, that that was uh, that was interesting because it was like. I guess you weren't supposed to say the names of like the characters they were picking in the setup phase. <laughs> no, oh, true. True. Cause we like, oh. a delay. Because we were just like, oh man, they both chose Widowmaker. Both of these are like the best snipers in this building. This is going to be great. And then like they all immediately switched to counter Widowmaker. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to watch out there. If you want to nice bump him up at all. Scoop? Okay. Yeah. He is a little bit low. I have him pretty. We're can, a little uh, bit higher too, so I can turn my game down if you need me to be quieter to pick him up better. Uh, I'll just turn you down. I got you here. Oh, cool. Look at you with a switchboard and stuff. You know, we try, we try. Turn the mic down a little bit. You know. He might not know enough about league, but he knows a whole lot about casting. Everybody. <laughs> you would think. All right, we're gonna turn the mic down I love the build-in spectator bit. delay though for league. It's clever. Yeah, I was gonna say like um a lot of like the big like majors and stuff like that they don't have spectator delay, which kind of surprises me. They maybe just a little discard bit, it all together. That's funky. I guess, but I guess it well I guess it makes it better for the casters because like what'll happen is like especially in, like um, in real life tournaments is uh like <laughs> you'll be sitting there like oh this is a very tense moment and then one of the teams will just get up and just start <laughs> so celebrating. Cheering. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I can see how that'd be a bit of an issue. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, oh, well, it looks like, uh, you know, so-and-so won, but uh, we'll see how they did it. <laughs> we'll find out shortly. Are we on a... give Mannheim credit. Good draft. 90 or... A lot of comfort three minutes delay. Is this Mannheim? It's, I think it's three minutes. Okay. <clears throat> it probably is. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, top laner uh, personally has a lot of beef with Mannheim. Not really sure why. 
Because <laughs> they just keep winning. Everybody has beef with that, whoever wins. But CW literally just destroys everybody. It's just not fair. <laughs> okay, he keeps winning in the other games. <laughs> it's good to have rivalries. Yeah. It is, yeah. All right. I think we need to switch to our in-game overlay here. Ah, oh, no, we'll keep mm -hmm. it. We'll keep it up. It looks fun. As soon as the game starts, uh, we'll go back to the the bug. Yeah. It'll be really interesting to see. I haven't seen. Oh, it's orange jungle. I didn't know that works. I thought it was. I guess. I mean, Jack's top lane works, but I I don't know about orange jungle. I don't... Does he even have a camp crew? We'll certainly find out, won't we? Yes. <laughs> I guess maybe he does. I don't know. Cause I, I was gonna say I haven't seen Jax. Um, okay. Jax jungle a whole lot, but. Is there like a? Yeah, there's a. Oh, is it is it auto directed? Like, yeah, there is an auto camera. Um, but I was gonna say there is a little interface thing. There's a little nice. like, eyeball down at the bottom mm -hmm. that uh, can, like take off the time. Counter. Put up the I can take off the what? The time controls and then put on the scoreboard. There we go. Yeah. And then also put on objective timers. Uh, I do believe this is still best to Done. Three, right? Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Yeah, you might want to uh, turn off that overlay because it's covering up all the stuff up top. Yep, yeah. yep. As TM takes up the bot jungle. With these teams trying to kind of avoid conflict here soon. They're looking for a pretty quiet start to the match. Minions yeah. Have Kinda, kind of not surprised by that. Um, with like the Tarek and the Orin, there's a lot of like CC um, coming in from TM, so kind of be hard to invade them. So they just they know we're going to probably trying to set up at least and just don't really want to fight. Little little disco party going on over here. <laughs> Alright, looks like one objective going. Killing minions and such. So they start off. Um, so CW obviously will be seeing if the orange rotates top, but they don't quite know where orange is right now. Which is kind of a problem. So interesting to see how this uh, Jax versus Garen goes around. That's going to be a big fight. A lot of bullying from each side. Rip stream. <laughs> chat. We're there. Okay, we're good. Chat. <laughs> That bomb skin is pretty sexy, by the way. There is a delay, guys. There is a delay. There is a delay. <laughs> Actually, is there a delay? I don't even uh, know. No, it's only a few seconds. Oh, so. Garen might go down here. I don't know. I, I think it's the three minute delay for the game. Yeah, the game is delayed three minutes, but yeah. between us and the stream, it's like five seconds. Yeah, 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 it should be. I didn't put on a normal manual delay. Uh, that's fine since it's already building. Can you swap the yeah. other team's pick order icons? All right, chat, help me. How do I do this? Pick order <laughs> icons. All right, so what you want to do is, um, here, I can try to help out. So if you click on the, the scoreboard down there, yep. you can click on the, on the team's things and drag them around. On which things? <laughs> so you can, like, click their pictures if you want and just drag them around. Oh, so I see. So you see that uh, guy on the top on the left side? Yeah, Kohler. Down to the middle. Oh, to match the... Uh... Yeah, to match each other. And then... Okay. On Who's on top right now? On top? Uh, on top is Jax. Jax. What's their in-game name? Um, I believe it's... What is Jax's name? So Mr. Vito's... 
on top, and then Mr. Luto's on top. Yeah. Okay. And then who's next? Jempy. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah. So that's so that's right. Just move um the last. Just switch the last two on the bottom. Switch the last two on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. And then on the right side. Yeah. Everybody's fine on the right side. Okay. Cool. Is that good, chat? <coughs> We're here to please. I understand how to play the game, chat. I just don't know all these new champions. Last time I played, there was like 80. Now there's 140. Okay, so first blood going up to Jax in the top lane. Kind of hard. Kind of what I expected. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Jax in the top lane? There. Yeah, Jax in the top lane. I didn't see the Jax jump in Oh, cool. He's here getting harassed by the Cassidy and almost gets picked off. And he's getting it. And that's just the power of one thing right there. He doesn't even need to wait until he starts to get good position. Probably down here, just kind of poking at each other. Or something. But it'd be interesting to see how Aphelios does, because they kind of gutted him in the most recent patch. But uh, I still think he's decent. I mean, you say gutted, like how bad, like what uh, what skills they reduced for him? Uh, they basically reduced everything. <laughs> oh my god. They, he was, oh, so gutted he was, is accurate, yeah. Yeah, he was very strong um, when he first came out. Gotcha. Um, but uh, I still I still think he's seeing quite a bit of play in, uh, in the majors right now. Oh, he's casting out of position. He flashes away from him. I'm still going on. I'm going to get a little damage. John Cook here. There isn't he's a follow up to kill him, though, so he's probably just going to have to recall. Chat favorite John Cook. Chat favorite is John Cook. Everybody's favorite is John Cook. Like I said, I'm, I'm obviously biased. Right? <laughs> <laughs> As long as you uh, lay it out front, I don't think anyone's <laughs> gonna have a problem with it. Right. Obviously, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, what a what a great play from CW all the time. But Castle, look at the It's just harassing. It's just harassing. taking a lot of damage. Looks like he's gonna get stunned here. He might die. It looks like he oh. will. No, he manages to get away. <coughs> it will be interesting to see though, because um, if Jax gets fed, that's gonna that's gonna be a real big problem. For CW. Castle going in again on the quirky, but quirky just so good and good. He's fighting each other all the time. Obviously, Garen just trying to farm under tower as best he can right now. Obviously, he can. He's a nice here. Getting a lot of things that were that little spin nuke there. Ooh, first dragon fight going on. Nice. Going for the first dragon, and it looks like there might not be much of a contest here from CW. Oh, hold up. But the bot lane walks they up. They are going to put a play here, though. Put a penguin there. I, don't, I think it's too little too late there. TM does get the drape, but they might lose Tarki. Is he going to be fly? Uh, uh, uh. And he just he gets just barely flash, flash out. Over. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm gonna do a plug here for Evil Geniuses. Type Emerald Twenty for twenty percent off Evil Geniuses merch. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go on the Evil Geniuses website and I'm gonna find my favorite bit of merch. <laughs> oh, you stop! Always my favorite word from, uh, from Dota, and they finally won the international. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's get it a What's the most ridiculous thing you can find? Got some shirts, got a hat. Oh, that's just phase one. Jack's going back in again on this Garen, but the Garen is still quite tanky. Looks like Jax might be trying to get to the Black Cleaver, possibly. Either that or he might be just building Trinity. Just to see how this works. I got some nice tees in there, folks. Nothing ridiculous. I was hoping for like an Evil Genius's branded like game chair attached coaster or something ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sure they have it. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. know how Evil Genius has like, the best work already. I mean, they have such a great... Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. massive experience. I mean, they've been around forever. 
They're definitely one of the oldest orcs for sure. Here comes Castle to try and respawn. Alright. Here's what we need to do. Very bad for Castle. He's gonna have to get away. But it looks like they get away. Just a little bit of a trade there. Castle going back in on the Corky again. Is that absolutely nasty? Sorry, chat. There we go, fight down the bot lane, much. heart pops ult. But he gets stunned, so there's no follow-up. It's just trade there. Back up to the top lane again where Jax is just constantly beating up Garen. But it does look like Garen is tanky enough now at this point to kind of force. Oh, sorry. Orn setting up here for a gank, but he doesn't have ultimate. Brom in trouble here, but he bounces back. And it looks like another close call for CW. They don't die. Very even game here, but so far TM does have 1k gold advantage right now, probably just because of that are farming in the top lane and in the uh, the bot lane. Oh, well, I guess not. I guess the dragon does help a lot. Uh, guys, I'm back with terrible news from Dogland. The mailman was at the door. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh. Just absolute, uh, absolute tragedy. Yeah, my dog won't bark at people who just, like, stare them down. That's almost creepier. <laughs> yeah. creepier he'll just like, he'll just like, we hit, we have like a big window up in the front of our house, and he'll just like get up in it. We leave like a little spot open for him. We just can see that's, out. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Back kill count is the same. Still just the one dragon. Cool, didn't miss much. Yeah, dragon should be coming up soon though, I believe. Well, the CW a little yeah, bit higher yeah, in gold, right? One thirty-three, yeah. Here we go, get Looks another like fight between we have, uh, and Corky. Two objectives coming up in a minute too, right? Yeah, I believe so. Well, Dragon's going to be coming up, and then it looks like the blue and red buff, or I believe red side, which is CW, will be coming up soon. Yeah. be interesting to see how this next drag fight goes, because CW really just didn't contest it all that much. They didn't get a pick out of it, but they didn't actually contest the Dragon itself. Yeah, they did try and steal it at the end there, but I guess too little too late. Maybe they'll be looking for something similar for the next dragon. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, right now, I think CW is going to be trying to play for the late game. Um, Aphelios is still incredibly oh, strong. Oh, hold up. Obviously, Cassidy. John oh, Cook oh, is doing some big damage down there in mid. Again, that's just the, that's just the power of John Cook. I don't... <laughs> Like he just he did. You don't sleep on John Cook. Oh, big gank oh, here. Aphelios taking a lot of damage. He's out of position. Oh, oh no. but here comes Nunu. Nunu a little bit Ooh, too late. Big over there. Oh, but here comes Garen down. Jax also trying to come down, but it looks like the fight is going to be over by the time he gets there. Good two picks there for CW. Jax is gonna get the bomb, but he might lose his life here. No. It's close. Just flash wow. out. And there's John Cook. Yeah, obviously they run away when John Cook shows up. That's They're just... like, oh, guys, just, just yeah. on I mean, it's smart that John they run away. But it does look like CW will be able to get a dragon here. I believe they did kill Orn. So Orn's going to have to reset now. John Cook in danger. Is Vayne doing a lot of damage? Oh, and a little bit of a misplay there from him. And it looks like he's oh, going to looks die. Like he didn't get now. John Cook falls, everyone. A little bit of a misplay there. I don't think he quite did his ult right, but CW will get the dragon. Probably won't get this quirky though here. Orn does show up, so Nunu is going to have to escape. Wind Drake coming up, and here comes Tarek now. He's going to try to stun the Nunu. He does, but he gets Blast combed away. Good Blast combed by Braun. That was very good. Real interesting fight bot lane. 
Yeah, I think there was a little bit of a misplay on uh, John Cook's ult there. Uh, he didn't quite teleport far enough to catch the Jax, and he paced with it with his life. I'm not killing gold buys. Things are literally and almost literally tied up. Dragons yeah. are tied up as well. Looks like we got ourselves a pretty close matchup at the moment. Yeah, one thing I will say is that um, usually CW doesn't have the greatest early game, but... What's up with the pizza chicken? Can someone tell me what the pizza <laughs> chicken is? That's, uh, that's a control word, yeah. That's used to like give vision and stuff, but yeah, you can get like a whole bunch of different word skins. <laughs> that's funny. Cassian just barely able to ult away before the Tarek stun comes in. They really... Both these teams are playing real well right now. Bane all by herself down here in the bot lane. They're gonna take out the tower and we'll see if they try to kill her, but she does. I believe that's her ultimate. She does push Aphelius away so there's no follow-up being played over by the game. Bit of cleanup going on there now. Oh no, Jackson. is there no borderless? Uh, there was when I switched to it. Yeah. I can't go to my... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I can just all tap out. Nice. Wait. No. Go back. Looks like they are going to be trying to take Tally here. Um, CW, just a little bit of gold lead, but here comes Jax on the Kassin. Kassin's able to bounce away, but it looks like Braum and Kassin might die here. Oh... The word hop from Jax. He's not going to be able to get the Braum though when he pays with his Man life. Casting. Hit me with that NA casting. <laughs> Setting up in the pixel. Chat, pressure. you know you love the NA casting. CW, <coughs> I don't think he he's there. Phileas has got to be real careful right now. He almost walks into it. Sneaky. So that means we're uh, roughly on par with the uh, casting quality you could expect from the Overwatch League. Oh, wow. Yeah. Worm here trying to do the Rift Herald fight. Tarek and Bane able to back him up, but it looks like CW is probably going to be able to stop this. Zenu going in. We'll see what they do here. It looks like they're going to try to pick a fight up here in the top room. And it looks like TM is just going to let them get the Rift Herald here. And it looks like they're just going to let him back off. They <laughs> got him, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, pause. Pause. Oh. Apparently Jax has disconnected. Oh, no. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, that Jax 3 114 farm. He's pretty poggers right now. Hmm. they'll be back soon okay, so we'll see what happens here still pretty evenly matched up though yeah pretty evenly matched the gold lead a little bit in the way of cw i think that's just because of objectives and they took a tower um it does look like on average they are winning in farm mostly um especially in the jungle meaning really just doing pretty good but um yeah, it'll be interesting to see, because that Jax is going to be a big problem, because obviously you can just jump in on people. That was like Aphelios' one downside, even when he was really good, is that he just didn't... He didn't have a whole lot of ways to get people off of him, so... It'll be really interesting to see how Jax plays into jumping into the back line. Oh. Looks like everyone's just about ready to go. Yeah. Looks like just about ready to go. Almost wonder if that Jax DC had anything to do with uh, them giving up this fight here. I, I, I don't know. I guess Jax died, so he probably probably wouldn't have been able to fight. This game's zooming back. Hey. Taking the Rift Herald with him. Nice. No 
it looks like they are going to be converging mid. Bane gonna have to flash away so she doesn't die. And it looks like they might be able to take this tower here in the mid lane. But we will see. Be a big team fight here. It doesn't look like they will get tower. They are gonna have to let it go, but they do get a lot of damage off. Garen just pushing the top lane, which is pretty good. Um, obviously want to try to get as many objectives as you can. And I think that's really what's going to probably hurt TM the most in the long run here, is just the... that they have no tier 1 towers left anymore, really. Oof. Bit of a pokey fight going on here, although yeah, it looks like it's going to lead to that tower down. Yep. That's going to be big, especially for Drake fights, because... Obviously, they don't have their bot lane tower anymore. They basically don't have any bot file. So. Oh, poor little Looks bug. like CW might be getting a free Drake here. Nice. TM, I think, knows that it's going on, but Jack's up in the top lane. He will have TP up, though. Interesting, the Orn also has TP. I'm not sure what that's about, but it works, it works, I guess. And here's TM walking in. John Cook spots it out though. Brom just trying to zone him off. And it does look like they will give up this Drake play here. It looked like they tried to get something, but they knew they were coming. Mm -hmm. So, uh, lead on the towers, lead on the dragons now. Uh, is this the uh, mid to late game fight tipping in favor of CW you said we might see here? Yeah, uh, again, like, I think if you know, TM has one tower here, because basically CW, oh, John Cook very caught out here, four in the bot John lane. Cook, no. And it looks like they might get him. Oh, he's done. Oh, they won't. Oh, wow. He ults and flashes away. Pretty That's big just casting. investment to stay alive, though. Big investment to stay alive, yeah. But a little bit caught out there, but luckily he doesn't die. But it does look like TM is... No, Garen's going to teleport down, it seems. Nuni with a big snowball. They're looking for a fight here, but they won't get it. Maybe? John Cook now going in on the Tarek. He ults. Garen just spinning his way away like a Beyblade, and it looks like CW is going to get two here. Oh, Jack's wow. coming in on the bot lane into Aphelios, but he just doesn't have any backup from his team. He's going to die. He rolled over, and he got four or five strong rolling here. Yeah. Three kills going in the way of CW, and that was just great answer by CW. They're looking for their third tower here, I take it? Yeah, I think they can probably take it, no questions asked. Yeah, Cloakie's going to have to back off here. And John Cook is up in the be... front like that, yeah, you got to turn and run. <laughs> and it looks like they're going to tower dive in here, they're going to get him. But you, dude. John Cook looks like he might get caught out here, though. Maybe, but he's he is oh. Cassidy. And it looks like he is going to get away with just a little bit of health. Bane trying to dash away in there, but... Again, that's just the power of John Cook. What did I say? He's just uh, a god. Hardcore, you messed up a pod champ. We're going to have to ban you from using emotes in the chat for the rest of this match. <laughs> so already done. He already got banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think this is, you know, CW obviously having the lead, you know. I think... After they took one good team fight in that mid lane, I think they knew that they could probably fight TM whenever they wanted to. And, you know, with Cassidy obviously on all cylinders just steaming through this, he's basically just set up, even if he doesn't have a whole lot of kills. And Garen really bouncing back. Uh, he didn't win lane, but he does have three kills, which is pretty good for him. Um, building the trinity i think it's a good call um to not stack armor on garen against this Jax. Uh, uh oh john cook trying to go in on the jacks Ooh. he's gonna have to run away and it looks like he's gonna get away again that's just casting that's not even john cook. yeah that's just cassidy real hard to kill if you don't have any hard cc Aphelios needs to be careful here in the bot lane. He might get picked off. Oh. 
Oh, oh just get some. Snipe from the Ornol. Great play from that Ornol. Maybe now, going down. And I think that's basically what TM's gonna have to look for here. It's just a lot of easy picks just to get themselves back in the game because they do have almost a 4k deficit now. A little bit more, actually. With all that vision on the Baron Pit, uh, CW does know where the team is, but they know they aren't at Baron right now. It looks like Dragon's going to be coming up soon, so we'll see how TM fights over this Dragon. Obviously, three Dragons going in uncontested for CW, basically, is going to be real hard to recover from. And it looks like TM's going to try to get Vision on, on the river before CW jumps in. Um, doing a great job of pushing out the mid lane just to try to be able to rotate down. John Cook looks like he might know that they're coming for him. He sees Jax. Jax is going to jump in on him. He does get stunned, and he's in a lot of trouble. I don't think he's going to get out of this one. No, he will not. Ooh. That is a big pick there from TM, and they okay. probably are going to be able to get this dragon. It looks like CW is just going to have to let this dragon go away. Long yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a good, uh, even enough the dragons? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what you really want to see. Shame that the dragons aren't really like a ocean or mountain drake, though, because that's going to pretty much help slow down CW. Especially if you have Ornn on your team. And it looks like TM might be able to take mid tower here. CW doesn't have a whole lot of backup right now. And it looks like they will get it. It looks like... Yeah, Felios gets popped. CW now here with the rotate. But it might be a little bit too late. And now Nunu is caught out of position. And it looks like he's going to go down. Maybe. He does get his ult off. Garen here now, and it looks like CW might be trying to look to turn this around. Garen gets it for him. But... Just not enough there. Ooh. And Jack's just jumping in. <laughs> and he's gonna get two. Good play there from that Zach. And again, Zach just... Jax just does a lot of damage. Like that, equalized. They're still behind on the towers, but... Man, if you're rallying like that... Yeah, that puts them right back in the game. Great fight Ooh. there. And oh no! Sure. Oh Aphelios. wow, that's so big! Oof. <laughs> and he lives! Wow. Closing the gap in the gold there for sure. They were down by three. Yeah, and they're almost even now. And it looks like they might be able to take a tier 2 mid tower here, which is going to be big as well. Nope, he's going to have to get away, and it looks like... Oh no, maybe this is a snowball, but here comes John Cook racing in. John Cook. And he's going to get him. He's got, uh, he's got a lot to make up for. He's died twice <laughs> though. Not seeing that whole uh, John Cook uh, quality we've come to expect. Yeah, usually, like that, that's usually like 4 2 and 7, not 2 4 and 7 at this point. Ooh. But, uh,. I think I think CW might scale a little bit better, but um, obviously the Jax and the Orn are going to be big problems. Um, Jax with 8 kills, I mean, that's a big game changer, even if you're down by 3k goal. Yeah. And it looks like both teams are going to be trying to fight over control of the top river here as Baron. Seems to be the big objective that everybody's going to go to towards. You do see TM in that bush there. A little bit of poke from Aphelios. But, um... Not much going on here. Both these teams are going to obviously have to be careful about their team fights. Especially CW, because that Jax is dangerous. It looks like Jax is going to be rotating, trying to get the Garen, but Garen does back off. 
And I think this is probably the way that this game is going to swing right now. Is whoever takes this first Baron here is probably going to have a huge advantage. Bane caught out. But there's no follow-up really. They are going to kill Tarek. But Nunu might pay with his life. He does. Jax gets a kill. Chad, can I get a Pog champ here? He's going to get two. Look, he's staying Kills alive. Pouring in. Wow. Wow. Big damage from TM. Jeez. TM is just on fire right now. Yeah. And it looks like they are going to be getting this first ban. So we'll see what they yep. do with it. They're probably going to be able to take an in hit from Team White from CW. I mean, they got. That's that's huge. So yeah. much time. Ten seconds here still, even before next spawn. Yeah, they just may even be able to go in and kind of like work out the next dragon out of that too. Yeah, they probably will be able to. I think CWB up to at least contest it, but yeah, they do have this Baron now, which is going to help them push him. Wow. Look at TM. Now they're up in almost 3k there. Yeah, and I think that's just again like the Jacks just having eight kills. Bane obviously, the whole lot of farm just being Aphelios by almost 30 farm. And, um, so how are we feeling about John Cook over here, though? I don't know. I mean, he could still blow I, up. It's not like he's out of the game here. No, I don't think any of these teams are really out of the game. Um, I think that, obviously, that Baron hurts CW a whole lot getting to yeah. wipe. I mean, it's definitely looking in favor right now of TM. It looks like they're probably going to take this Dragon uncontested as well. CW sees him going on, but I, I just don't think there's much they can do about it. I mean, that Orn ultimate and, you know, just the Bane doing so much damage, the Jax doing so much damage. Mm -hmm. I think that's been the big game changer is just how much gold Zach has, or Jax has right now. There's, yeah, there's definitely a momentum shift here. I mean, they're just rich over here on Tian. And now Dragon going in favor. Nice. Trying to kill the Quirky here. He is all by himself, and it looks like he can be able to pick him up. But... Mid lane just pushing him now. For TM. And CW's gonna have to weather the storm until Baron goes out. Does look like John Coast gonna keep split pushing. Uh, but it does look like TM is now going to recall with that extra pass from Baron Buck. My brain, my brain. <laughs> <laughs> John Cook, small brain this Garen. Uh, this game, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, getting, you see that. Pretty dominated though. Yeah, that that kill count is usually switched. That's usually five kills, three deaths. Easily, <laughs> yeah. Maybe having some uh, internet issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vincent in the chat, Coach Vincent. That's the reason why CW won the second Emerald Foundation. <laughs> CW, take my internet. <laughs> yeah, it's Coach Vincent. Cool. He's not really a coach. He's just uh, kind of a dad to the entire CW team, I guess. That's cool. John Cook getting destroyed by this Jax. Oh, oh no. Man. Oh, it's so Cook. bad. There really just is no answer to this Jax right now. Oh, but CW oh, didn't want to see. That Tarko saving everybody. News also going to get killed. There's just so <coughs> much damage coming off of the Bane and that Jax. Wow. Wow. Failure is getting popped, so is Braum. Triple kill. Some free minion cleanup. Yeah, they're gonna take this tier 3. Definitely in hit, top in hit off of this, maybe even mid. Yeah, I think this is just a. Uh, that Vayne, that Jax are so far ahead. They have so much CC. Yeah, it looks like they Jack are. Left the game. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, John Cook might Maybe be he has been bit. having some internet problems then. That would certainly explain it. Maybe. I'm... I don't know. Or, that uh, that last death from him though. That was just kind of Jacks destroying him. <laughs> that's not even internet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is true. Yeah. Or and also like. 
he's able to upgrade that Trinity Force on Jax to just do even more. I mean, wait, is that Spellbook one? Oh, it is. I didn't even know that. That's why he's been having TP. Oh dang. I've never seen such a weird Orn build in my life. I guess it works though. They say it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't question it. Don't question it. <laughs> I was like, Orn Jungle? Yeah, I mean, I guess. I could see it, and it's like a spellbook, and I'm just, like, confused. I feel like uh, John Cook probably just uh, fake DC'd so his team can get a timeout here. I think that's... <laughs> cool. Yeah, I mean, this game's pretty much wrapped up. I'm not sure CW can really bounce back from this i mean definitely not it looks like too much pressure right here too much pressure and again like vane and jacks like what are you gonna do against that let's go township <laughs> toaster frames here's your recognition cw take my energy <laughs> <laughs> the quick w <laughs> Have no fear, guys. Yeah. Have faith. The game will come it'll, back. It'll be interesting to see how CW bounces back from this. Because um, they were in a situation like this um, in, uh, I think it was like two finals ago. It was like uh, late last year or something like that. They lost to uh, pretty terribly to Bishop. Uh, Bishop McDevitt. And, uh, well, yeah. while we have the time here, let's run another... Uh... Yeah add to prevent the pre-rolls oh this is the first match seismic mm -hmm. yeah we'll right back in a minute guys of... is it best of three it is best of three we'll have to say that again but mm -hmm. the score is currently 22 15. <laughs> that's not that's that's not accurate though <laughs> It's irrelevant. What's up? Are we muted? Uh, right we now? had a disconnect. No, you shouldn't be muted, but uh, there's an ad like playing. Looks like reconnected. 30 seconds on this ad, but we'll be all right. It it, it picks up, I think. Uh, yeah. It was for CW. We had uh, John Cook, the man, the myth, the legend himself, DC. <laughs> he was just yeah, too John... good for his internet. Yeah. Yeah, John Cook just destroyed his internet from playing too much League today. This is true. Or, you know, he the cat just stepped on the router cable and... <laughs> oh, we're getting the R's. Ready, ready, ready. Perfect timing. Yeah. Perfect timing. So John Cook is back. But... You John Cook's really calling me out here. I mean... DDoS. <laughs> They're getting DDoS. Yeah. <laughs> the comeback begins. I talk about how good he is in front of 40 people live, and he just shows me up like this. Dude, it's the caster's curse, man. You, you know it this. Is. Come on. The curse is real. Really I cursed is. myself into casting eight maps uh, a couple weeks ago. Ah, uh, we that figured it out, guys. Know? Chat DDoS John Cook. That's what happened. Ooh, sausage. I had my, uh, <laughs> I had my suspicion. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that Jax. Just take the blue glove. Just no problem. Like, what are you? Like, what are you? Oh, no. John Cook. Oh no, John, John Cook, Cook walked Cook. right John into Cook. it. Cook. John Cook. Oh, he, he does flash away. out, oh. but he's gonna get. Is he gonna get? Uh, no, uh, he, he's gonna get he's it. Gonna get away. <laughs> oh. But again, like, what do you do against that? Like, Kasten's supposed to be a really good late game champion, even if he is three six. And it's like, what do you do? John Cook's looking a little shook. I mean, I, at that point, you just have to do a hail mary. You just go straight yeah. in a lane and push and see if you can out beat them, but. Yeah, I just, just... I have seen comebacks before. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh there's the first kill. John Cook going in. There isn't a Jax for this fight, but he's going to get killed John by the Cook. V. Uh. And now, Jax coming in here. And that's it. Oh, no. The team fight is oh, ended in failure. It... But again, like, ooh. Oh, nice pick there by Cole. Yeah. Yeah, nice pick. But again, it's like, what do you There's do not... against a 9-2 
Jax with 236 farm with a 10 and 2 vein. This is not much you can do. Exactly. That's just it. That is game one going to TM. We'll see how CW bounces back though. This is an event. Mm hmm. <laughs> so you go. Let me at him. They will ban the Jax, not surprised. I was gonna say, <laughs> are they just gonna immediately ban Jax? Insta Jax ban. It'll be interesting to see because, um,. Uh, CW can flex a lot. John Cook was originally an ADC main, so he does still play that from time to time, and, uh, from what I know. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they maybe switch up anything here in their team comp. Got the Orn, Jax ban. Yeah. I was still super surprised by that Orn. I don't... So I, I still can't wrap my head around that. That was crazy. Guys, if you want 20% uh, off of your Evil Genius's gear, type in right. Emerald20 as a uh, code. How did Evil Geniuses do the last two of the two internationals? I want to find this out. That'd be interesting to know. So I think they still did okay. I don't know. There hasn't been a whole lot of good uh, American teams in the TI recently. Oh, was OG and Team Liquid last year? Looks like EG made it to quarterfinals last year. It's not too bad. Expect a clean 2-0? Citrus fruit, come on. Come in and letting us know. Come on, citrus fruit. Citrus Vladimir fruit, Garen. uh, set up that Ouija board, lit a bunch of candles. <laughs> that He's calling to the up, spirits. Looking at the future, letting us know. We're going to get a clean 2-0. <laughs> John Cook, is he going to pick the Cassidy again? I don't think that was a terrible pick. I mean, he did pretty decent in lane phase. I think it was just... That Jackson vein was so impressive, like we're, like you can't go in. Oh, he picks up Cass. Vladimir and Garen. I wonder if it's gonna be Garen Jungle. I really do wonder, because it might be Vladimir top lane. Could be. If you're just tuning in, guys, we're here for the final game two Emerald Online Extravaganza. We've got TMO6 versus CW Esports. Uh, I'm up down. There, we've got Scoob here. Scoob, say hey. hi. And Steve. Hey. What up? We're your triple cast team, and uh, we're about ready to start here, minus the three-minute delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John Cook on control mages, a megalol. Not a problem. Yeah, John Cook likes to play aggressively. He doesn't like to... <laughs> we saw a lot of that. Yeah. That may have been a, uh, you know, they they may have baited him enough there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of times when he was really out of position. Like he didn't have any support from his team, and I think that's just mm -hmm. something he's gonna have to look at. Um, Their IGL is gonna have to cast. bring him in, reel him in, say like, "Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it! You press D yeah. right now." Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know. I just it's such a weird thing because it looked like it was gonna swing in CW's favor, yeah. and then TM just has one real good team fight, and they just immediately take control of the game. Cast weird chant. TM now banning the vein. It'll be interesting to see what CW bans last year. Finn says, "I taught you how to play versus Zach. You got this, not. boys." <laughs> CW can stay alive here. They do have a pretty sick, nasty. 
All right, CW fans, what do you got to say to that? Come on. Looks like it's going to be set top lane, so Vlad mid, set top. Okay. I'm going to pick Caitlyn, there, man. Fine, call me out like that. Jeez. Conrad, hello. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Varys in the bot lane here against a Caitlyn. See who they Hashtag pick for the top kids lane. from Conrad Wiser Esports. <laughs> I hope that's I hope that's our boy Broth. He runs these. So it looks like uh, things pretty much set up here. It looks like it's going to be Garen top lane. So it looks like um, TM's just going to be picking their jungler here. Malphite going top. All right, Chad, I'm going to need help rearranging the scoreboard. <laughs> uh, we know. We you know this. Give them bad advice, yeah. it'll also be really funny. Do it. Do it. You won't. Is Caitlyn mid lane? Challenger Finn, more bottom? like Silver Finn. Silver Finn. Finn. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> I still have no idea what TM's doing with their draft. I mean, it's working, but it looks like it's going to be Garen Jungle, Nami, and Aokai bot lane. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but, um... Varus and Tarka in the bot lane on CW, pretty standard. Cassiopeia and Caitlyn mid, we'll see how that does. I actually think Caitlyn might have a decent match up there, because... She's just, uh, very ranged. But we'll see how CW bounces back from this game. Finn letting us know he's diamond. <laughs> no silver fins in this chat. <laughs> Still not challenging, though. It's a long way from challenge. But... <laughs> link, link or it didn't happen, though. Come on, Finn. What happens if like your stats get deleted? Oh, what do you that mean? would just be so sad. Well, for instance, I'm an old gamer, so my old stats <laughs> on old websites for orgs that no longer exist, I can't link to people. Oh, that sucks. It's like, yeah, yeah. I used to play Sevo. I was on a couple teams here and there, mm, but they don't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, why has Soul only played three games in the Overwatch League? Kind of sad. Shanghai 7-1, and one, Soul 3-0. Somehow Soul's better? To me, that works. I mean, you just never know. Soul's painfully average at best every single year, though. I mean, that's on purpose, though. You sure about that? <laughs> yes. 100%. <laughs> Look at the rosters. That is true. That is true. I'm, I mean, like, I, I'm actually curious what the percentage is this season. Season one? Oh, it was so bad. I think yeah, it was like 90%. True. I want to know what happened to my boys at Shock. Yeah, Shock's not doing so hot right now. Interesting to see. So, I still, I almost wonder if they uh, they didn't line up properly. Because I'm still wondering about this Caitlyn mid thing. Ooh. I just... I just don't know. Or is it a bold pick? 
that, that's what I'm thinking. And I mean, like, I know lethality Caitlyn is kind of BS, but I mean, I don't know. Like, Garen Jungle, I can see that. Like, I could see that work, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, but Caitlyn mid? I don't know about that one. Let's see. So, 100% percent, yeah. of Spitfire's roster is Korean. Mm-hmm. Really? One, Correct. two, three, four. What little soul just had, like, all American? Four. Like, about 50% hey. of Washington's. Fusion with that W. Whoop, whoop. We gotta love our Philly uh, teams here. Oh, heck yeah. One, two, three, four. I love everything Philly except Fusion. I don't know. Ooh. Five, six. Ooh. Oh, let's let's so, unpack this one. <laughs> Wait, who are you pulling for here, Scoop? Oh, Shanghai all the way, bro. That's fair. That's that's a that's a fair rivalry there between Carpe and Diem. Yeah. It would be even better if Diem had played this year yet. Oh, did he not play this year? I haven't seen him play it. <laughs> okay. So start off I, I don't with... get it. I mean, I guess whatever Shanghai's doing is working for him. But yeah, you can start here. Looks like jungles are going to be split here. Vladimir trying right, to here catch him. Here we go. They, they see him. I remember this. You take away this one, you add this one, and you add this one. Ha ha! I'm learning. And a uh, reminder from the chat to remove the overlay. Yep. Yeah, so we'll see here with uh how things stack out. So CW is all correct. We still CW side is all correct. Plenty of time um, chat. Don't worry about it. I believe I believe it'll be put in Maokai. I believe it's Mount is it Maokai Jungle? Yeah, so it's Maokai Jungle. So put Big Tree Man at second. Garen at top. I don't know who Big Tree Man is. Maokai. <laughs> Big He's the guy Tree all the Man. The, He's the guy all the way at the bottom. Big Tree Man. Put him at second? Yeah, put him at second. Um, and then it'll be a uh, red guy who's up at the top in the middle. The red guy is at the top? On the other side. Oh, uh, uh, okay. In the middle? No, CW is all correct. Okay. I'm sorry. So, um, the CW... Wait, uh, CW was all correct. I messed yeah, up. CW was was this oh one? Oh my god. I don't know. Everything's messed up. Help me, chat. Please! <laughs> okay. Um, switch um, the guy up in the second place to the guy at the bottom. And that's correct? Yeah, and then that'll be correct. Okay, so on the right side, the tree guy goes second? Yeah, tree guy goes second. And then Garen goes where? Mid? Garen goes top. And then Vladimir is in the middle. Okay. And then switch um, the, the bomb two. The bottom. Yeah. Okay. Alright. How we doing, chat? <laughs> this okay. is just so CW. See, the see chat... Is. You have to understand, when I was playing, these people didn't exist. I don't know who any of these names are. Back in his day, he had to walk to school both ways uphill in the pouring rain and snow constantly. Snow, snow, it snow and ice. Least, it was at least a quarter Barefoot, of a without shoes. Back in his day, you were allowed to be within six feet of other people. That is yes. true. I miss that yes. part. Is that a, is that a bad joke? <laughs> many, many bro hugs. Ex many bro hugs are missed. Joke. Yeah, so it looks like Caitlyn does go to the bot. Vladimir in the middle. So this is actually pretty standard picks here. Um, be interesting to see how the bot lane does, because Caitlyn is just going to harass Varus and Tarek. Sausage, you approve? He does say fixed. <laughs> <laughs> What if I just do... I won't touch anything else. Don't break it. Right? It'll somehow turn the whole thing into black and white. Who's this person that's just like... Looks it can like be a done. normal person, but they have a hammer. Steve with play. the Go Fusion emote. Oh, like that's it. Tarek. Yeah, Tarek's My brain, Tarek's my brain, my brain. Don't do it. 
So Vladimir and Cassiopeia in the mid lane, and it looks like CW's gonna try to look for gank in the bot lane here. Zach moving down. I need to turn K-Mind into the My Brain meme. That's what's gotta happen. <laughs> There's a PUBG player who literally freaks out on stream um, because as he looks up, another guy comes down. So like, literally two people swapped, and he couldn't like he couldn't see it. He it just didn't make any sense in his head, and he just screamed, <laughs> "My brain, my brain, my brain! I can't! I, I don't know what to do." <laughs> Oh man, dude, I'm, I miss that game a lot, but I also am so salty with how bad that they managed it. Yeah, which sucks because <coughs> the player unknown himself is actually kind of a good guy. Brendan Green is no, <laughs> stop yeah. it, stop it. I thought he he, he is a nice guy. He is a nice guy. Um, the problem with him is. Down. You have I don't even talk about this. It looks like they might Peppy get a laugh. Here. Big tree man taking a lot of damage. So is Caitlyn. Both managed to escape. Carpe doing carpy things. I just saw that. John Cook burning flash and teleport there. A lot of wasted potential, really. But um, just trying to help the bot lane out in any way that they can. Luckily, Caitlyn does burn the flash and the heal. Um, Nami burns the exhaust, but just a shame they didn't get a kill out of that. And it looks like TM's gonna try to play a hard and fast game here, I'm thinking. Um, just get it over with? Yeah, just get it over with, because, <laughs> again, like, CW kinda, kinda be scaling, though. I mean that is the play when you are when you are up you you definitely want to play a little bit more aggressive you don't want to give the uh, a momentum shift to the other team yeah um, and I think the only way CW is really going to kind of stop that is to look for those ganks and to just kind of catch TM almost with like their pants down just like when they're super pushed up when they're going for objectives and they think they're safe you know just trying to capitalize on really any small mistake that they can so what's up with this mermaid person oh uh, that's not yes She's, please uh, tell me kid. so she does she has like a bubble that stuns people um i see yeah, a lot of bubbles of stun. yeah she has a big wave uh she has a heal Oh. I guess that's like the new meta, right? Because there's a lot of effects uh, that have changed since when I used to play. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the new game people criticize for having kits, so they basically just have like Senna is the yeah. worst character you could ever play against. She has a poke ability that goes through lane or that goes through minions, can hit people and heal her and her ally at the same time. Oh, wow. How is um, how's that allowed? She has an she has an escape ability. Um, she has like a she has like a root that's ridiculous. Like she just has everything, and she has a global ultimate that heals people. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess it shields them rather, but it does damage and shields people. It's just like our uh, our one friend who's a Nasus player constantly makes jokes about how he can't win because uh, the champion's too. Weak. Aphelios also was kind of the same thing, but they nerfed him pretty well. I don't know why they haven't nerfed Senna a lot yet, but... In time, everybody gets nerfed. In time. Sometimes heroes never get buffed either, so... <laughs> so, you just so we know John Cook is the player to look out for CW. How do we feel about some of the players over on... Uh... My Brain TM. Yeah. I don't know, but a big Drake fight going up here, and it looks like Cassiopeia's gonna be getting blood. They get up the Drake, but they might get two here. Uh, Parrish had. And it looks like they will. Kill his last match. There's a good one to watch for TM. Yeah. For yeah, Caitlyn, okay. Side. Um, their ADC is playing a real great game. Um, I'm not sure who that is. So basically, the whole team. 
basically, I mean, their jungler is doing all right, but I would definitely say the Garen and the Kaelin are probably the players that we know of so far to watch out for. All right. Um, I was going to say, um, I know that um, the top lane on CW does play Malphite a lot. I know that they play Zac a lot, but I haven't, I don't really play with them a whole lot because they're kind of like way out of my skill league, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kind of a bench warmer, honestly. <laughs> but, um. And a great caster. Oh, thank you. But, um. Yeah, I just. I don't know. I do play a lot with, uh, Me Too down there. Uh, okay. Lane. Is that. Is, is it Me Too? Is that what he's going for? Yeah, it's Me Too. Okay. Yeah, everybody gets that wrong. We, uh, we went to a Smash tournament time. They kept pronouncing the name Me Too. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, if it was, like, Pinyin, it'd be, like, Nichu. So, like, I just go with the Pinyin. Anytime I see anything with an IU in there, I just assume yeah. it's Asian. But <laughs> I, I have seen, like, I have seen he some friends. A, he is a weed, but he is Romanian. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's My buddy... Just does the pinyin version of WTF, so <laughs> I got it. Nice. And you would never know it. Like looking at it, it doesn't look like it at all. Mm -hmm. Malphite and uh, Garen just dogfighting it out here. Looks like Malkai tries to pop. Oh, oh John Cook flashing and trying to get the ultimate, and he's gonna get Vlad, but he might die here to the Malkai. Never mind. He's just melting it. See, this is like the John Cook that was supposed to happen last game. <laughs> hey, maybe John Cook was just saving it. Oh, giving no. us. Malkai gets caught out by Zack way deep in his jungle. And Zack with the kill. Great pickup from CW. Big Tree Man dies. Big Tree Man. This bot lane looks to be calming down a little bit, but this Caitlyn is really good at just poking. So... Yeah, she's doing an amazing job there with the micro. Yeah, definitely. Especially keeping CW out from just hiding under the tower. Chat, next tournament we're going to have APMs for everyone. It's going to happen. Heart rate monitors, the works. It'll be there. <laughs> we promise you. All the promises. It's like uh, I've been watching a lot of game grumps in the, uh, in the quarantine world. Uh, <coughs> they just call it... Um, the Backstreet Boys uh, return uh, tour. <laughs> Not using CW getting caught out. Oh, the just flash out. In. John Cook now coming down, and it looks like CW is going to turn it around. They're going to get wow, wow, to Wow, wow, wow. Varus down here trying to fight the Garen. He's going to die, but he gets him. That looked like a terrible setup for CW right there, but they managed to turn it around. Malphite just chasing down this poor fish. Never mind, he backs off. So is this the John know. Cook you know and love? This is the John Cook that... that Chat, can we get some pog champs for John champs. Cook? Yeah, can we get some pog champs? Get <laughs> TM. Some I don't Cook champs? Oh, big stun from John Cook. And it looks like the rock is here. Zack dives under tower. Oh. And he's gonna John needs he's to gonna get out of there. Ooh, and he does smell what the rock's got cooking. Zack does pay with his life, but... That's a 90s WWE joke for, like, maybe one person in chat. No, The Rock is... Have you seen how popular The Rock is on a... He's popular with everyone, with every generation. Yeah, he's the, the Rock transcends. He is the people's he champion. He transcends time. The... <laughs> That's nice. Right. He is the people's champion. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Guys, go subscribe to the official Dwayne The Rock Johnson YouTube channel. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not till we not get that yet. partnership Why, deal. Use Twitch Prime to subscribe to us first, but... Yup. <laughs> He's got plenty of money, he doesn't need yours. Yeah. So CW bouncing back good here, but... <coughs> Caitlyn, um, still doing a great job in the bot lane, and... You know, I, I definitely wouldn't say that... This is really uh, anyone's game yet. This is really anyone's game right now. But it does look like CW is going to get an uncontested dragon, which is good. Alright, looks like we have another buff coming up here. 
Yeah. This is Inferno. Inferno Drake's coming yeah. up now. Uh, so for any of you that don't know how Drake's work, so basically the first two Drake's are two random Drake's of different kinds. And then after um, those two Drake's die, um, the map changes to reflect which Drake is going to be spawning for the rest of the game. <coughs> they get Spirit, which is four Drake's. Hmm, Why I did not... Diving under tower. Yeah, that was a recent change. I think they did it at the beginning of this year. I think it was a season 10 change or something. Okay. But, uh, it's been real fun. Dude, uh, Kaylin's micro is insane. Yeah, it's it's good. She's, She's good. poking four people at the same time while dodging everything. That's just, yeah. They might have their own John Cook. It's in the bot lane, though. Uh, that's actually a... Uh, Garen and Malphite fighting up here. Garen's just taking a whole lot of damage. John Cook's still just playing super aggressively against Vladimir. I feel like he's. I mean, John him. Cook is is edging uh, TM's the team out. The Tarek, and it looks like Caitlyn might die here. She does. Meet you with a big kill. Ooh. And it looks like Nami's in trouble. Oh, another big stun. <laughs> and oh, and she's able to get the double. Oh, and here goes the tower. Oh, the oh maybe not. Uh, it still could. And on the Vladimir, but Vladimir is just gonna flash away. He doesn't die, and it looks like oh, Zach wow. is dead. Not sure what that one was. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Off the team. <laughs> nah, I don't think that was a terrible play, but um, lucky for Vladimir that he had a stopwatch. He That's what I like to see, chat. That, <laughs> Take me by the hand. <laughs> Lead me to the land that you don't understand. <laughs> Guys, it's not even Ocean. Ocean Drake is the worst <laughs> Drake on the map, though. It's the coolest looking map, but it's the worst one. They have Mannheim Township's name wrong. It's STMO6. What does that mean? Oh, we don't have Mannheim's name wrong. We know Mannheim's name. We, uh... We, we know what they're getting at here. <laughs> yes. We know the Pokemons. We know all the Pokemons. What'd you guess? We were born and raised by Pokemons. Yeah. Wait, that sounds weird. No, ignore that. We, we, <laughs> we raised and born Pokemons? Is that better? Yeah, that works. I'll give you that. Looks like bot lane's going to get caught out here. Ooh. Great setup from TM and... The Tarkold isn't going to go off before Varus dies. Great answer there. Getting two. That's well, really what good teamwork, for that sure. Setup. Looks like they are going to get bot tower off of this, too. That was big. That was like... That was like a League World Championship setup right there. <laughs> That's the meta. Just watch the pros and do as they do. <laughs> Zach out of position here again. Will he be able to save tower? I don't think he. Nah. He's no. Gonna no chance. Oh, but he goes in. Is whoa. He does miss the skill shot on the non. I mean, it was the play, I guess. What is that little Eevee that follows the mermaid? That's uh, that's one of the little summoner rings thing. Okay, gotcha. Um, I think it's like area or something like that. I don't quite what it does because I don't really play any mages, but. Yeah, it like, uh, I think when you hit somebody with an ability, it like goes on them and does a little John Cook in the bot lane looking to take out the tower. CW still with the gold lead, but they are even on objectives, um, very close on kills, and again, a great response there from TM. John Cook taking the bot tower, laying down some deep vision, he's in the back. So yeah, the thing with the Infernal Drake um, is that it removes some bushes and uh, completely changes where the um, the red and blue buffs spawn. Um, so all that caps, like John open. Cook and Chet. Yeah. <laughs> no, we like the all caps. Someone turn that off. Nightbot, don't listen. <laughs> it looks like... TM is going to be setting up for Drake, but uh, CW does know they're trying to get some. We'll see how that goes. It 
is there chilling. <laughs> they do see where CW set up right. John Cook playing up, and it looks like he's going to go in on the Vlad here, but it might not be the best play. As Maokai is now rolling in, <gasps> it looks like, oh no, Cassiope is going to escape and he gets a kill. Caitlyn also in danger. Great play there from John Cook. Great ultimate there. That's a John, that's a John Cook you like to see. CW now going in, but Garen and Vladimir going in the back line, but that Tark ult is just blocking damage. It blocks the Garen ult, and there's just nothing they can do. Chat calling the band night fight. <laughs> <laughs> and now CW will get their second dragon. Amazing Tark ult there. Just TM looking to put up some pressure, looking to take the dragon. It would have been good for them, but that target just stops everybody. There's nothing you can do. And it looks like CW's going to look to take Baron. They are pushed up quite a bit. Wow, that bar is just doing a lot of damage. They now see them going for it. But will they respond? We will see. CW not wasting a whole lot from what I saw in that fight, except maybe the targets. And then they are going to get a free Baron. Wow. That's Very aggressive big. play there from CW, accelerating the. They're going to take their Baron. Back to the base. TM looks a little bit Spend caught Spend that gold. Thing, but, yeah. 4k advantage, but still, like, pretty even on objectives. That Baron's gonna really help accelerate the game for CW. Um, and I think really the big difference here is, again, like, you have that Cassiopeia yeah. with 5 kills, but you also don't have 8 kills on your top laner or 8 kills on your bot laner right now, which is really helping CW. Um, CW looking to set up in the mid lane, and then try to take a tier 2 here. Vladimir gets caught by the Scuttle Crab. They know where Vladimir is. They see Maokai. Vladimir just able to barely escape the Tark stun. Garen trying to push out the tower, but isn't quite able to take it. Now it looks like Malphite on the offense. This Malphite just so tanky. He literally is the rock. He's just chasing him down. Look at this. Where did this guy go? It looks like the bot lane is going to come up to help. He ults him. <laughs> and now Garen is caught out. Wow. Vane's like John Cook in previous series. <laughs> Sleeping John <laughs> Cook this series. Pog champ. <laughs> that you are correct, Vane. That you are correct. And it looks like this is a very different game from what CW had last game. Uh oh, both of them get caught out? And a big shutdown going to Vladimir. A thousand gold, and I don't think Zach's going to be able to escape. He does not. Wow. Again, a big answer from TM. They still are in this game for sure. And it looks like they are going to be pushing up mid. Big respawn timers now for CW. They can't really contest this tower take. They might be able to save it, but... CW still has the Baron buff up for a little bit yet. We'll see what they do with it. If they can take any kind of tower. So is it just like the uh, the uh, champ switch for John Cook that's just enabling him to play so much better this match? Or? I... 
you know, I really don't know because again, like, I think that Jack's getting really fed and that Vayne getting fed, that's kind of out of his control a little bit. Um, and I think that's really what helped them. Uh oh, Garen looking to fight the Rock now. He's just so tanky. Look at that, barely, barely takes. Yeah. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, but like getting back to that, I, I think that really the Vayne and the Jacks getting fed, um is one great play like from tm but i don't really think that's like john cook's fault or really anybody's fault because if you look back on that game uh the top laner didn't have eight deaths and the bot lane didn't have eight deaths so you know i think that's just cw legitimately getting outplayed um mm. in those two spots by uh overall like gameplay cw looking to take another drake um TM probably going to have to give it up here. They just don't have four people up. I believe Maokai got picked off. I thought he was top side. But um, CW doing what they need to do to get it done. Um, those Infernal Drakes are really going to help a whole lot accelerate the game, do a lot more damage. Yep. Looks like CW now running it down mid. Wow, that, that Varus just did a lot of damage in one shot. That was surprising. Karen and... Malphite up here still just having their epic clash of titans up in the top lane. <laughs> Completely different match going on for this. So. <laughs> Garen just chased Listen, them that's away. Top. That's just top lane for you. That's just two people duking it out. Yeah. CW still looking it's not to not a whole lot of duking. <laughs> Garen's just chasing Kate him away. gets caught out. Oh, man. John Cook. With a Tarik ultimate coming out. I believe Garen got his TP stopped by Malphite, and Vladimir yep. now dying. Ooh. And, again, just, just, what, they just don't deal damage to each other. <laughs> Very good play there from the Malphite, stopping the Garen ultimate. I think that really would have changed that entire team fight. But now CW oh. taking the tier two. Ooh. Oh, nice pick there. there. Garen. CW now looking to siege the tower. Garen trying to trade in any way he can. Nami gets caught out. And again, just CW playing cook. real aggressively this game. Definitely. They take a tier 3, but they won't get in hib. Garen now looking to take the tower. So it looks like they will trade objectives. Um. Karen might stick around to get the inhib. CW not able to back. Zach manages to get away though. Now, it doesn't look like Garen will get inhib, but I think he did quite a bit of damage to it. No, no, he didn't. Never mind. Garen now on the attack, and he's going to get jumped on by three separate oh, people. No. And he just overstays his welcome he's gonna die for it tm now trying to look to set up a baron but with garen getting picked off that is a lot of their team tankiness gone and it looks like cw might be able to take a baron here i don't know vladimir in the bot lane but obviously cw doesn't know that right now they do know that nami is up there in maokai it looks like they're going to be trying to chase down Caitlyn here. John Cook getting the slow, but Caitlyn manages to escape. Maokai uses ultimate because he thought maybe they were going to chase a little bit more, but he whiffs it. And I think that basically is just going to be free Baron. A bit of a misplay there by the Maokai. A second free Baron. Yeah, second free Baron. For CW here. And this looks... This is the CW that I personally know. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> yeah. this is how they. This is how they. They've definitely taken them. command of all of the objectives. They're 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 timing things really well. So, very yeah, different from last match. Really well. Yeah, they're timing things really well. They're not taking stupid fights. They're playing aggressively when they have to, but they're not afraid to play passively either. And I think that's really the big difference. Um, I think your 5K difference. <laughs> Yeah, 5k difference. But again, like, towers are even right now. You know? Um, you have a tier 3 down on each side. And I think... I think CW is going to be able to get a Dragon Soul here, and that's also going to be huge um, for them. 
Obviously, this Baron, they probably are going to be able to just siege out in him off of this. And Garen, Mal Malphite's just, yeah, just... <laughs> Garen definitely doing a lot more damage to this Malphite than he was, but I just don't think he can kill him within 30 seconds, honestly. It looks like CW, Malphite just trying to keep the Garen up in the top top lane, and CW is probably going to be able to siege out in the hib here. They deal a lot of damage to the Vladimir, he's going to have to back off. But they will get in hib. This is going to be very big for them. Looks like they going to back off a dragon here. It's up in 15 seconds. And that's basically going to allow them that free dragon. Malphite might get caught out here. No. Doesn't get slowed. They do see CW rotating down to the dragon now. But again, I don't think there's much they can do about it. That Cassiopeian Varus just do so much damage. And that target just allows them to do so much tank here. They try to contest it, but they aren't even able to touch it. Tark Ultimate coming out now. They stun the Vladimir, but he manages to get away. Zack now with a big ultimate. Oh. And Me Too and Zack now just chasing down this Vladimir. He's going to get him, and down in the bot lane, it looks like CW is going to be able to clean up the rest of the team. Nami escapes with their life, but the TP now coming from John Cook, I think. He does, and he looks like he's going to try to end the game before his team even gets there. Trying to take all the glory for himself. Nami trying all she can do to stop her down, but she's just going to get popped. Yep. And again, that's just... I mean, it's still 10 more back. seconds. Great answer by CW. Yep. That is game two. So a near 10k. We're at what? About nine there? Eight or nine? Yeah. Huge play by CW there. Yeah. I will say TM did a good job, I think, in the early game trying to answer back from CW. But, you know, I think what really stopped that was just the dragons. Obviously, those Infernal Drakes. John Cook getting five kills, zero deaths. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That's just hard to come back from. And I think that's basically what you saw last game was, again, just like one or two characters just getting what they needed to really stomp the entire team. Oof. So yeah, John we'll Cook, 11-1-6. Yeah. Jeez. Can we get those damage graphs up? <laughs> Total damage, 27k, John Cook. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Big oof. That's the John Cook I was talking about earlier. Putting the game in his hands. What a god. That's the John Cook? That's the oh, John okay. Cook. Oh, <laughs> okay. So John Cook, total damage, 199k. Uh, total damage dealt, yeah. That's just the champions, but that's insane. It's like the third lobby setup. I'll invite you guys. Okie okay. doke. chat uh valorant could happen valorant could happen we could see we'll see uh i personally do run valorant tournaments so you're always welcome to come check those out they will be on battlefy though i've been loving valorant recently i was real big into csgo oh. when uh it was at its height in like 2016 or something like that oh yeah no, that's when it was exist. good no that's well, not true do... Val was pumping yeah, out it's... a lot of content right now yeah, CSGO is probably bigger now than it was in 2016. But I meant like... the, uh, the source uh, engine source code leak. <laughs> oh, well, they patched that out, I guess. But yeah, that was... yeah, they're gonna that was they're hoping deadly. to release uh, two right over the summer. I think they're they have big plans for the summer. Yeah, well, so Half Life. It'll I, just I know be Dota a... two was like their first game ported over to Source two. TF two tourney. Let's see it happen. Oh my god, don't talk I mean, about we TF2. can do it! TF2 is one ready. of the saddest moments Myself of my life. I have a thousand hours in that game, dude. Valorant is, is, is crazy good. We're not sure if we can uh, 
we'll be using it here in Emerald, but I hope uh, that will ha happen. We'll see. We'll have to see what happens. I still haven't played it. Valorant's fun. I was really over. big into CSGO. CSGO was like Medic the main. competitive rank I was ever proud of. I could have probably gone to DMG. But... Ooh, Pyro main over here. Come at me. In CS? <laughs> hmm? In TF2. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. I got Is bad Pyro in Counter-Strike? Because I'll go play that. What's that? <laughs> Bro, Pyro, good Pyro mains are really sad because you can't shoot them if you're playing Soldier, which is what sorry. I play. I'm sorry, guys. And, and it doesn't but bad Pyro you mains make you... You're just always on fire somehow. Yeah. And bad Pyro mains are really sad because See, they just run at you and you're just like, I can't stop it. He's going to die, but he's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gotta love the flog pyros. Oh, uh, remember when they buffed the flog and it was like OP? Mm-hmm. My friend got uh, 600 kills on a flog in one day. Uh, oh my god! When it was buffed, because he just was like, "I just want to like see how many kills I can get on this by like playing for like four hours," and then he just like got almost like 600 kills or something. It was well, ridiculous. there's the answer. <laughs> Looks like we're just waiting up on one player here from uh, TM. I'm personally a soldier in NG main, dude. In Overwatch? Your... No, in Overwatch I was Torbjorn in Pharah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm going to try Echo actually, out. She looks like a lot of fun. Echo seems fun. I like her role, but it's interesting. I don't know. Oh, I, my uh, goodness. There's just so much. Th there's a very interesting way to play her, and I think that we're just going to see more and more plays from her. Yeah. Bro Echo is broken. I hate her so much. Listen, just hit Yo, the head. Echo is right? naughty. Hit, hit the head. That's every character. Hit the head. I, uh, I remember I remember when they buffed Genji and everybody it was like on the it was like when they launched the PBE and everybody on the yeah. PBE was like guys you can't can't release this to the live game and then Overwatch was like nah I think we can and then they did and then patched it out like two days later <laughs> yeah that's when uh, Genji was solo capping points with five supports yeah Can Echo is just Farah times 500. Dude, Echo is literally like Genji Mercy. Think uh, she has a dash, she has a lift. Farah, she has a ult. Zarya. <laughs> All of them combined. And then she ha her ult is, I can steal even more. <laughs> I haven't seen a whole lot of actual Echo gameplay. She so out there live streams yet. Because she can be anyone. <laughs> No, see, she's better than everyone because she can be everyone at three times uh, all charge. <laughs> Pretty standard bands coming here off of each side. Interesting to see that CW bands the Tarek though, because that was a big reason why they won that last game. Let's maybe they're afraid they of the counter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the counter pick. Set being the first pick here, either going top or jungle. I'd love to see jungle set. I love uh, when Echo oh, copies okay. Reinhardt. Okay, then you just have like the most fan. aggro Rhine in the world that has an extra life. Just two swings Agreed. of the hammer, you have shatter, and you're just throwing it at everyone. It's so good. <laughs> Throw Hanzo in there, and oh, I guess you couldn't with the 2 2 2 lock. But yeah. Well, you have no idea how much hate I would get because I'd actually play to a ground competitively and win. I mean, that's I just how it is. <laughs> I mean, Plat alone is super TMO6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nautilus and Zach coming in from CW, Set, Vayne, Lulu. So that looks like the bot lane right there for TM. Okay, arguably Echo is not a her, not a she. Echo's a robot. It's a robot. Echo's an it. <laughs> yeah. If you, you call Zen a he, then you call an Echo a her. What's yeah. that? She, she also uh, 
is uh, can be anyone. So you know, <coughs> this is true. This is true. It's like not a virus going into the. Ooh, bottom. I remember Lulu, and Vane. <laughs> hey, it's oh all coming God. together. People, people I know now. People yeah, the new play... dev update's really good. People who play Vayne top lane uh, deserve to go to the ninth circle of hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> CW like, take my energy. I love a lot of top lane champions. I can't play top lane because of how. Oh, the new custom voice lines are pretty sick, and the oh, custom comms. Well. I agree. I agree. Oh, they added a custom comms wheel. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty it's sick. Nice. I was just talking about that last night. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's really easy to use. Though. Oh, we, we should probably do another intro here. So we are on map three of this Emerald Extravaganza. Uh, code Emerald20 if you want to get 20% off of Evil Geniuses gear. Uh, exclamation point Evil in chat. If you're just tuning in, I am up down. This is Scoob. Say hi, Scoob. Hello. And Stee. Yo. And we're your triple cast team here going into game three of this final uh, with quick, TMO6 uh, versus CW Esports. Triple cast is a bit of a, a bit of a strong freeze. It's like one caster in Scoob and then you 1. and I 1.66 like, cast. How about that? Yeah, yeah we're, definitely, <laughs> we're definitely each a third of a caster for uh, League. <laughs> and then Scoob's just the hard carry as one caster. As long as Scoob carries us as hard as uh, John Cook is carrying CW, we're happy with that. We're doing good. John Cook just carries everybody. It doesn't even have to be CW. <laughs> this is true. Just put him on a team. He'll carry it. Yeah. Ask him to help you with the groceries. He'll carry it. <laughs> His parents so, must love him. Oof, let's keep Galio. a PG chat. Galio and Mordekaiser coming in here. So it looks like it probably will be set jungle uh, with Mordekaiser... Uh, going top and Galio in the mid lane. I love Galio mid lane. They need to bring back his flash W. It's not that oppressive, guys. Come on. Ooh, the timeout for 600 se seconds. Rip. Rip. <laughs> CW finishing up their picks with Corky, Garen, and... Uh, <laughs> the Galio flash was too strong. What, what were they spamming? Galio uh... flash W is not too strong, and I know who that is, Casey. Go back to playing Nasus. Ooh, NASA's mid. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, there were. We won't talk about chat. Chat was a little uh, overzealous there. They got there. a little rambunctious. Got a little they got a little too comfortable. Little... But there's we're here for you, chat. There's too After much the 600 energy. seconds end. Yeah, there's there's a whole lot of energy swirling around. There's just been a big spirit bomb waiting to go off. Yeah, for this final game, CW versus TMO6. Oh, it is BO3. I was thinking it was best of five. I don't know why. I'm still stuck in Overwatch mode. We would be here for four hours. <laughs> yes, we do. I cannot, I cannot play Overwatch anymore, but I love watching Owl. I miss. This is uh, true. I actually miss goats. I love. I can play Overwatch so actually. I can play Overwatch, but I, I don't know. <laughs> no Owl for me. <laughs> The, most of the characters that I played in Overwatch have not been changed at all and are still meta, which is why I think I might be able to still play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. May is, I, I love May being meta right now. I hate May being meta. A lot of people do. <laughs> May was Wait, did they, did they remove her nerfs? I thought she got hardcore nerfed last season. She didn't get hardcore nerfed. She got nerfed, but not enough to make her unviable. Really? Yeah. I was playing her at the beginning of this season. And I did not like her at all. There were a lot of bugs. Do they patch those? Uh, I guess I don't know. She plays perfectly fine for me. She had she had so many bugs where people were able to use abilities after, um, you after you eliminate them. Mm -hmm. It was it was really really weird, and um, there was a I lot of animation able delays. To walk in a first person shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I always hated May because it was like, I liked her kit, right? Like I thought her kit was kind of fun, but it's just it when I actually is. play it, it's boring. And I play Torbjorn. Okay, I gotta say this though, uh, Sage Main, by the way. So you know, Valorant. I I respect Sage the May wall. I respect the May wall. 
I say the best part of playing May is walling a uh, an overzealous Reinhardt off from their team and just oh, punishing totally. them into the ground. Totally, you oh, can yeah. just hear them screaming at their monitor. Like, hundred percent, like May's super fun, and I love how her kit works. It's just like, no, I don't know. When tank. I actually want to play her, I don't like it. By the way, the most fun tank to play is Reinhardt, because a lot of people are like Reinhardt's boring. All he does is put his shield up, and I'm like, you're not playing Reinhardt. You're not playing those Rhine mind games. Reinhardt is really <coughs> like go into the entire enemy heat team and hit them with your hammer, and then when you can use your hammer to slam the ground, you get six kills. It's that easy. I mean that's true, but also Reinhardt's job is to prevent the other Reinhardt from shattering them. So if you don't do that, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's your God. one job. Your one you can do whatever else you want, but your one job is protect us from the shatter. <laughs> Shield uh, up. Our uh, CW had an Overwatch team for a hot second, and we didn't do anything. But let no me PewDiePie tell you, plugs I've never... here. Today, I... PewDiePie still exists. <laughs> well, he, he was on a hiatus via, I think he took like a three-month honeymoon or something like that. Yeah, well, we played Minecraft for a bit. I, I mean, to be perfectly Minecraft. honest, if we're, uh, you know, if we're talking... The king of YouTube, he's he's slowly declining because uh, at this rate, Mr. Beast is definitely going to overtake him. I don't even know what Mr. Beast does. Other All right. Than plant trees. I mean, he donated five million dollars of meats to the food banks for during COVID. Yeah, I don't know. I so. love Mr. Beast because I don't. I've never watched a single video by him. But All right, chat. For... Two hundred IQ play. We switch the overlay off now. Oh, done. Wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He learns. It only took three matches. Yeah. I still have no idea. I mean, I know who Lulu is. I know I who Vayne is. <laughs> Yo, is that a uh, I'm assuming Vayne is playing top, right? Uh, Vayne should be bot lane. Yeah, Vayne is bot really? lane. Vayne's bot? Okay. Vayne's bot. Lulu's jungle? You play Vayne top if you're a terrible person. I don't think okay. TM's that bad, people. Okay. okay? <laughs> they, I they mean, have good people over there. They might be TM06, but they're still good people. I mean, TM is supposed to be TM, so I expect it fully. <coughs> How does it look now? Are we good? Uh, switch Lulu to where Mordekaiser is at the bottom. Where's Mordekaiser at four? Yo, that is the yeah, edgiest at four. person in this game. Mordekaiser? Yeah. Oh my god, Mordekaiser. So Mordekaiser used to be called Pizza Feet because his model was really bad because it was really old. And then they, uh. Vayne should move up one slot. Why does. Yeah, why is Vayne. It. Yeah, big old chat, triangle feet. Chad is telling me Vayne should move up one slot. Why is Vayne moving up one slot? Uh, she's supposed to be ADC. Lulu is support. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, ADC is like fourth, I think. Yeah, so you're good now. Alright, and then we're good now on CW? Yep. So, All right. already good so back to pizza feet. Yeah. Yeah, so his model was really bad Thanks, and his feet were like huge like triangles that were like bigger than the, his entire body. Wait. Mord <laughs> is supposed to be up one spot. Which one's Mord, guys? <clears throat> Mord? Mord? It says Mord up one spot. Mord oh, set yeah, switch. Well, top lane. Sorry. I thought he was jungle. Uh so switch Mord set. So one and two? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, chat. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. We do, indeed. Yeah, Mordekaiser's real oppressive in the lane, so it's not surprising. I expect him to kind of win that Ooh. matchup versus Garen. Um, Ooh. I don't know what we do here. What's the play? I'm confused. Galleon and Corky. It'd be interesting to see how that works. Because um, I do believe Corky is a AP AD hybrid, so... I'm not sure how much Galio's magic shield do against that. Oh, someone's getting hacked right now, I hear it. Oh. Is that the notorious hacker known as 4chan? <laughs> Got them clicky switches. <laughs> oh, the I MX Blues, man. I will be lubing. I'll, I'll be uh, lubing the switches and the stabilizer soon, so. We will get that crisp. Lack of clack. 
<laughs> you only clack when you're actually like playing the game while streaming because it makes you sound better. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that you play better when you're clacking. Yeah. I, I just recently got into keyboards. Uh -oh, I'm. What is going on? What were you using before a keyboard? I'm really concerned. No, no, no. I mean, I, yeah, I just did Cherry MX Reds because that's what was like. Have you the heard standard. of this thing called keyboards? It's really <laughs> handy for computers. I was using a typewriter, bro. I've been using Swipe. <laughs> I, um. I'll be honest, I used to uh, troll people and play on the, uh, the Nautilus. touchpad to only. They may pick up Lulu here. Nope, she oh, just gets away it's out. Good hook there by the Nautilus. John Cook getting turned Ooh. off by this Galio. But he's not going to back down. He's going to keep hitting him. That's a wonderful mustache that a uh, player model has. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Corky. Corky was literally just stolen from Dota 2. <laughs> Literally, Seems like, like a lot that... of these games steal from each other. Well, see, the funny thing is... It's not original... stealing, it's inspiration. Well, see, it's funny, because the original League developers were some of the people that worked on the original Dota. Oh. So, uh... So they 100% stole stuff. Oh, I mean, this entire game... Well, it's not stealing if they owned it. They might have owned the IP. It could have been happening. Well, technically, Warcraft. Oh, please, devs Warcraft don't own any owned, IP. Right? You're right, you're right. <laughs> Actually, well, uh... Gyrocopter is my dad. <laughs> Gyro Gyrocopter is literally just quirky. It's literally the same model, same face. It's, it's basically the same abilities too. <laughs> so do you usually get the tanks in the top lane? Is that usually how this works? Yeah, yeah usually, unless you're a vein Normally. player. But, um... <laughs> the salt is real. I'm sensing, yeah, a lot of animosity. <laughs> Vane coming from you, Scoop. <laughs> no, he's he's completely fine with Vane as long as she's not in the top. Yeah. Like, GG, literally... Dutch, Morty, it's over, CW wins. <laughs> yeah, Garen versus Mord. I expect Mord to win that. Um, I just like, I love a lot of the top lane champions, but I don't like the top lane meta or playing top lane. Because um, really, it's like whoever dies first usually loses. Um, especially in, like, sense. low elo play, which is me. Um, but, like, Vayne, like, any range champion, because most top laners are, you know, obviously melee-based tanks. So any range top laner, it's just like, what do I do? Just walk away? If I walk away, they hit me, but I can't walk up, because they're going to hit me. There is a lot, there is a lot of walking. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the walking. Are up with level six, and a... Zach trying to gank in the bot lane, and uh oh, it looks like rip Garen's hardcore. I'm back, even though I didn't say anything bad, but okay, it's a little rip hardcore drop. Thank you for the fat rip. God, I did. So I didn't even know what I typed. That was bad. Bot lane, but um, like all their I actually kind of agree with you. I don't think it was actually you who said it. <laughs> there were a lot of people saying things. I don't know if you instigated it though. <laughs> There's still a lot of energy in chat. Just anyway, a lot, of, a lot of poke going on here in the top lane. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh it was Nightbot. Nightbot oh, timed no. you out. John Cook. Nightbot did John it. Cook getting caught up by the Galio, but Zach managing to get the first blood. John Cook escaping with his life, but now Mordekaiser is TPing down. And it looks like CW is going to have to give up this Drake. They trade one for one. More going in, but he doesn't have ult up. I'm not sure what he's oh, it's doing. Close. CW loses two. They are on the run. Galio now going in on Varus, and he might get him. It looks like he will, maybe. He does. John Cook trying Hi, to. Hi, Keo. Shout out to Keo. Again, another dogfight here going in the favor of TM, and it looks like they might be able to take this Drake here. Garen now able to just kind of farm top lane. Zach maybe looking to steal Drake, but he's a little bit too low. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Keo again. Who's Keo? Keo is our wonderful director's daughter. Cool. For Emerald. Sorry. I, I just had to do a shout out. 
and CW taking an unfavorable trade there. I love how Zach moves around, just kind of like flings and right? stuff. Right? Yeah, so he's funny. just like, I don't need anything else. I have arms. I am goop. Essentially, it's like uh, goop meets Stretch Armstrong. Does anybody remember that? Uh, yep. I vaguely remember Stretch Armstrong. I don't remember Goop, though. I vaguely remember hearing the name. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. Can you type it in here so we can see if it was bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Nightbot, uh, Nightbot accidentally times the wrong person out. <laughs> Pog. That's Detroit Become Human right there. Yup. CW looking to get something to go mid, but Galio has vision on. Now it looks like Varus is in trouble, and he might get picked off. He does. Vein takes some damage, and now Nautilus out of position. Shout out to Ballantyne as well. Now Nautilus out of position again, and it looks like he get might that man on Yasuo. Escape under the tower. Again, another pickup from TM there, and things not looking good for CW in the early game here. All right, we're going to show my age here. Let's see. I'm going to start naming some people that I know. Do they still... Are they still played? Lux. Is Lux still played? Lux is not really played in competitive. Not really. Okay. What about Ash? Ash? I think Ash has been seeing some play. Okay. Um, Teemo? <coughs> Teemo recently got buffed. He might be soon, but I don't think he is too often. Okay. I'm trying to remember all the different characters I used to play. Camp Champion, sorry. Sorry, chat. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Yi? Grandmaster Yi or so something? Yi? I forget Master what his name Yee. is. Uh, yeah. Master Yi, I think, is still played a little bit. I'm not too sure though. It looks like TM trying to take over the top side here, looking for a. Um, oh god, why can't I think of it? Looking for a. Uh, Is it heroes? Why am I blanking on this? Heroes? Is it heroes or champions? It's champions. Heroes is Overwatch. Heroes is Overwatch. Yep. CW, I don't think knows that this is going Ooh. on. No, they don't. Oh, and yeah. Now, Ari. Zach is going to get and picked off by the Galio. Zach is running away. Zach is going to get away. Rift Herald. That's what it is. They get the Rift Herald, and they almost take Zach's life. They're going to take a top, and Garen is going to have to be incredibly careful. They know they're there. They know they took it. Oh, is that what that's called? I've been calling that a horseshoe crab. <laughs> it looks like a crab. You're right. Yeah. It does look like Rift a horseshoe crab. Harold? Yeah, Rift Harold. Okay. Or Harold, yeah. just. Harold. Oh, I'm gonna call it Harold. That's fun. That's his name. His name's Harold. <coughs> look, look at little Harold go. He's gonna go. Is there a Kumar? The Good job, Harold. I don't think there is. No, that can be Kumar. the name of the Baron for now on. Galio <laughs> trying to ult in. It looks like CW is going to manage to save the tower and burn the Nord ultimate. But. A lot of tanks on for team. now. Yeah, it'll, I would be surprised if TM does not take this tower soon. Chad, keep up on the socials for uh, Emerald. Lots of new things happening, guaranteed. Big damage. I uh, just posted here. something on Twitter about a guy uh, playing uh, Street Fighter. Oh yeah. Ooh, Blitzcrank. That's a player I remember. Let's cranks played a lot, yeah. You got, yeah. You got a whole bunch of those thing is cool. Darius? Darius used to be big, Darius too. Darius has still played a lot. Darius is still a cancer champ. I'm happy to see... Man, literally, I'm just scrolling and scrolling and... Oh, Heim Heimdinger? Heimerdinger? Heimdinger? He looks familiar. I think Heimerdinger has played a little bit. Yeah, no, Heimerdinger has been played a lot. I think he's played bot lane quite a bit. And I think that's it. 
That's all that <laughs> I would have played. I don't think I played anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, they've been reworking a lot of champs as well. Did I say Jinx? I don't remember. Jinx, Jinx is still played quite a bit. CW taking the Ocean Drake here, and I think is tested. TM really doesn't have anything to stop this. All of CW is coming down now. Uh oh. Oh. They are going like to get it. Out of it. CW might get the Galio here, not quite. They're still going to go in. Set manages to block the Zac. Corky trying to run him down. CW now trying to go in. On the vein, they will, but Mordekaiser's TPing down. They will get Lulu. But it looks like two are gonna die here. CW needs to get out of this engagement as fast as they can. See, Mordekaiser way out of position. Are they gonna be able to get a pick? Probably not. No, they will not. It looks like they're gonna get teamed wipe here. Oof. John Kirk just barely getting out of there. That oh, is not he gets picked. To see. They play too aggressive and they get punished for it. That is a team wipe for TM. And now a 3k will be going in the favor of TM and probably a tower or two, I would imagine. Not... I wouldn't say at least CW gets the Drake out of that, but they really do just overextend themselves when they don't have to. The Mordekaiser TP coming in perfectly there, and CW just gets turned on. They get wiped. That's it. 3-0 and now on the Mordekaiser, 4 all in the vein, and you really want to try to stop this snowball as fast as you can, but I'm just not sure if they're going to be able to. That's tough. Scoob, KC37 wants to cast with you. <laughs> KC always says that whenever I cast. Don't listen to KC. He plays bad champions only. He doesn't even know how to chime in. Another sex timeout. What are KC. these people saying? Uh. You're the one logged into the account. Shouldn't you be able to see what the messages were? In no, because uh... it's... Well, it's not me who's doing it. It's someone else who's doing it. 14 messages were deleted by moderator. I thought that's Nightbot doing that, though. Nightbot's doing it a little bit, but there's a little bit from us, too. Yeah. I haven't seen anything yet, so that's if why I'm confused. If really get back into this game, they're going to have to play safe. They're going to have to only take fights that they know they can take. And... Obviously, just hold on to their towers as long and just farm. I mean, we've yet to see any tower fall. Yeah. But, <coughs> again, that 9-3 lead for TM, that's that's pretty huge, even at this point. Yeah. In the game. yeah. It looks like they will get that top tower first. Close. Yeah. Um, Garen doing all he can to hold on. And that little, like, phantom grabby thing is such a crazy ability. Yeah, that's that's Mordekaiser. Up there being edgy. <laughs> Mordekaiser's lines are especially edgy. John Cook just casually farming in the bot lane or in the mid lane. Bot Nasus lane is countered by champs who right click their fountain. Okay, what does that mean? So basically, uh, Nasus is pure melee range. He has no range. So is away from him, he literally cannot. Hmm. That's funny. So not not great. <laughs> no, he's not good at all. He's terrible, in fact. <laughs> um, he scales super late game. Um, but... If only the casters knew what plus yeah, 12 means. I know what plus 12 means, okay? Listen. Plus 12. A caster, pl not plural, knows what plus 12 means. Yeah, it can have it. <laughs> but chat, Casey, would you even type to us if we if did know what plus twelve meant? Basically, Nasus, whenever he kills somebody, he screams plus twelve in the chat because that's how many stacks he gets for his Q. Oh. Nasus waiting room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Case is just salty because the only character he can play is Lee Sin. Um, but. Looks like TM setting up for Drake here. Garen just trying to hang on to the top lane. He stops the morph back, but I'm not sure if that's what he should have done there. I think he's gonna die for it. Oh yeah, for sure. And he does. In the bot lane now. Big fight going for CW. They stopped the Galio ultimate. And it looks like they're gonna pick him up and a little bit more. Ooh. And they are gonna take a great great response there from CW. They get four for the price of one. And they are gonna get another Drake. And that is huge. Great answer from CW. And they are clawing their way back in this game, dragging. Keep sending CW energy to CW. <laughs> yeah, let me charge up that Pog champ. Again, boys. CW now trying to stack, maybe get a mid tower here. No, they're trying to get Harold here. We're going up to gank that Mortar Kaiser. No, just the Harold. We'll see where they put that. I imagine that's probably going uh, to mid lane. That tower is incredible. Oh wow, the tower down as well. Yeah. Oh, they took that mid tower just with yeah. Minions. That's pretty poggers. So they get some pog champs in the chat for the minions. <laughs> doing doing the real work. Out there. <laughs> They're doing God's work. Oh, maybe Varus is there. I don't know. He's one of Hardcore He's... drop has a point. If you've given all your energy to CW, you can't work on a project. <laughs> You're just gonna have to tell their teachers that, huh? <laughs> That's their fault for giving all their energy. Mm-hmm. Unlucky. I mean, this a couple is buffs up here. This isn't like League Worlds, okay? What an amazing miss from John Cook. I was saying, how did he miss every <laughs> single one of those minions with that rocket? That was like... Nautilus a little bit caught out. Mordekaiser taking the quirky, and it looks like a big team fight here. Oh, John Cook down? Yeah, John Cook down. But it looks like they might... Zack might get Lulu here. He does. But Garen also caught out. And they're going to have to back out, trading two for one. Everyone getting smashed by that Mordekaiser hammer. Yeah, Morde Mordekaiser just... That's like there's a push here. They're going to get this mid tower. Five tower. You hate to see it. It looks like, and I hate to see it, but this game, this is going to TM's favor. I don't know. Yeah. The Mordekaiser snowballed. The Vayne's already snowballed. I'm not sure there's much CW you can do to recover from this. They're getting a free stroll on over to the Baron here. They are a little bit low though, so... CW is able to stop it. I think CW's probably just gonna have to fight over the next Drake, and that's about all they can do. But, again, towers going in favor of TM, especially kills, and still, it's 2k gold advantage, almost 2k. I will say, though, John Cook not doing terrible, but, again, this Mordecai is just the world. I just don't know that there's much to stop him right now. Oh, he's See, 13 he's already, jeez. They are going to start the Baron here, and we'll see how CW answered. Might just go. They're looking John for the Cook steal, I guess? Playing aggressively. Oh, here you go. Out of Might. He flashes away. Bit of a split fight, though. Bit of a split fight, and I John don't Kicker think it's a fight again. that CW's looking not. Oof. And CW is going to give up Baron and another two kills. John Cook dying off screen. Chat, John Cook is down. I don't think you understand. Chat's not giving enough energy to CW here. Chat is not giving enough, I'm saying. enough energy to CW here. Oh, bit of yeah, tower work going on, though. Take bot tower, but I do think that with that Baron, TM's going to take an inhib here. Yeah, they're just strolling up center.
No, they back off. Hmm. I really think they could have taken at least a tier three. I'm not sure why they backed off, but this is not looking good for CW. They are getting stopped. And I guess they can afford to play a little bit conservatively. Oh, Set John getting Cook caught though. out by John oh, Cook. Oh, John oh, Cook going flashes. in. Is Wait, he going to flash? Oh. There's Dude, if that Q Cook hits, though. Yo, that John Q Cook hits. got your energy, folks. He's feeling it. Not enough, though. CW now setting up for the tower set, having to back. They're going to be able to at least throw up to the dragon pit. They do take out the vision on the river. But TM is going to be able to fight for this. And again, I just don't. He has that team fighting ability. Without the Tarek, I think that Tarek is really what saved them last game. I think we got a big fight coming. No, they're bailing. Yeah, they can't. <laughs> they know they can't really fight TM at this point. So they're going to have to back off and look for any kind of pick they can get. I think the playing. term that was getting people banned was Phage. Oh, uh, that makes sense. What now? It's an item. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. actually really funny. They're going to try to fight the Baron set coming in here with the Galio ultimate. They pull away, but John Cook is out of position and gets picked off. Oh, Parrish back to doing work again on a killing spree. Like Double kill. Going to get wiped here again and lose a Drake, and oh, I think that's probably that, game yeah. at this point. Big old snowball about to come rolling in. Almost a 10k gold lead for TM. And a third Drake. Or second Drake going in their favor. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if CW can recover from that one. Alright, Chad, this is your chance. One final push of energy. <laughs> Galio backing off now, but it looks like Mort's gonna escort the minions into lane. CW looking to try to take a fight here. John Cook missing another rocket. But it looks like they are going to get the fight here. One and only system, how's it going? Go MTES. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Mannheim Township? Esports? Esports? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, John Cook with a little pickoff here. Set. Oh, pick super here. aggro. Zach might jump in for another. Nope. I mean, they need to be doing this kind of stuff if they want to stop the big old yeah. snowball heading their way. They get two nice picks capitalizing on TM's overextension. But, man, John Cook just missing these rockets. And they're chasing them down again. And he gets a big hook on the vein, and they are going to get her. And it looks like they're going to get the set this time. They do. Oh wow! Oh, but now could be a team right here. So much damage. They're running from him. They're respecting that damage. I mean, that's an eight-one Mordekaiser. I'd respect that damage. Yeah. CW trading three for two. That was a though. good exchange. That was a good exchange for them, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't think it'll be enough right now, but it's a good way to try to slow down TM's momentum. They yeah. save at least an hit now. I mean, they have closed the gap a little bit. Went from about 9k to 5 here, so. But yeah, again, I just. I think they can stop the vein this time, but I don't think there's anything to stop that Mord, and I think that's going to be no. a big game changer. If they can kill everybody but that Mord, I still don't know if it's enough. He is just a force to be reckoned with at the moment. He's tanky, he does a whole lot of damage, he can escape. Vayne having to flash away from John Cook still gets almost a third of her health bar taken, though. CW definitely on the offensive here. But I, don't I mean, know. I like the play. Staying offensive is like their only play, right? They stay passive. So, they just can't. They can't defend. But if they stay offensive, yeah. they can keep getting picks and hopefully claw their way back up. But I mean, it's an all-all-or-nothing play right now. 
Because if they get set once, it's going to be yeah. game this over. This Baron fight is going to be incredibly important. CW gets free vision on thanks to taking the Scuttle Crab. Um, is that what that's uh, called? Yeah, yeah scuttle, scuttle Crab. crab. Aw, that's kind of cute. Oof, oof, John Kirk just barely missing down. that. Yeah, just barely. John Kirk hitting some of his uh, rockets now. Yeah, he's definitely on it now. Um, but again, they like neither of these teams really want to team fight each other. Right? It sounds super innocent. Like, oh, it's just a little scuttle crab. Bane trying to deal some damage to John Cook, but he manages to escape split second. And it looks like they're going to set up for Baron here, seeing the resets coming in. I don't know if they'll get it for free. I think if CW can get a good Baron fight here, even if TM takes Baron, they might get punished heavily for it. Ooh, and... John Cook knows they're hiding that little uh, bit of jungle there and actually drops yeah. them down quite a bit, sends them pushing back. But, oh, oh no, no, he gets caught out. Get caught out. Oh, just Ooh, barely, just barely escapes. They're going to get Here's the, the Galu here. Oh, Free. one That's more hit might. Oh, oh, not enough. Nope. They're and running now. Not enough. Yeah. Garen coming in, but he's going to have to run away now. Again, just John Cook getting caught out again from his team. He did start out a really good fight there, but I guess he just overextended a bit yeah. too much. Yeah, he overextended the mid lane a little bit too much, and it looks like they are going to get a free Baron off of this. But they are low, so they are going to have to reset after team. Still though, that's big. That is big. Um, but CW is going to be able to trade for Drake here, which is very good. Um, because that Infernal Drake's going to help them do a lot more damage and take some damage away from the board. Yeah. Um, but again, that mode's just 9-1. Like, they don't even kill him in that team fight because of the Zhonyas. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think personally... Bane's still 9-2 over there, too. Yeah, the Garen, I think, to me, needs to be building a little bit more MR. I understand what he's trying to do, but he's not even really able to split push right now because of how much pressure TM's able to exert. Um, from having that Baron and having that great team fight. And um, I, I just don't know if the Garen was the pick. I think I would have liked to see Mal fight again, maybe. I wasn't sure if he was banned this game, but... CW taking that Drake does give me hope, though, that they can still manage to stay in this game. Looks like Mord's going to try to split push top lane. CW calls it out, and we'll see if they try to take it. You know, even for being 1-4, this virus is still doing quite a bit of poke damage, which is kind of surprising. The Mordekais are now starting the Bramble Vest, which is pretty, pretty big gonna really stop that Corky from dealing any damage to him. And it looks like back. TM trying to siege the tower, but they do it without they do it without the Mordekaiser, so we'll see how this goes. Because CW can kill everybody but that Mordekaiser right now. And it looks like they choose to go in on the Morgan. The ult coming in now. And it looks like CW oh, Mord, Dive under tower, and they just cannot get any damage down. It looks like a big team fight here. They get to. And they just cannot take down the vein. Yeah. Varus finally pulls it off, but oh no, he gets caught by Mordekaiser. This tower is definitely going down now. And that is four for three. And now it is up to Zack to defend his post. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it by himself.
Zach now getting caught on. Just look at that thing. Untouchable, yeah. He's doing whatever he wants right now. Yeah. Do their damage, you're gonna regroup a little bit. One final push later, perhaps. Yeah. Another uh, almost 10k difference here. Yeah, another 10k difference. In seven towers to three towers. I just. Yeah, I don't know. This is purely just Mordecai's are just taking the game into his hands. Popping here. off, yeah. Yeah. Too much for your oh. eyes. Hide them, Toast. Hide them. <laughs> Shield those eyes. We already know Mord is huge. I think. I think. Eleven Jonathan and one. Isn't playing a terrible game here, but. I just. I just think catch he's up. been getting caught out, and I think probably what finally happened is. I think CW's probably finally met a team that can play at their level. And, at least this tournament, and I think that they're just not used to actually having to play at this kind of level. This is true. I mean, the other the other thing to take into account, too, well, I don't know if it's to take into account, but um, land versus, I guess, it's, yeah, land versus uh, online. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how bad the pings are for CW. TM trying to set up some kind of bush strat here. I'm not sure. I know CW doesn't see it, but I think they can guess where they probably are going. So they're going to try to stay away from that area. A slow play here. For yeah, I, to the last big fight, I guess. They're trying they're to catch up CW, and here. I think CW's eventually bait. Oh. Oh and no. Nautilus does oh. catch them out with his sweepers, and he's going to be able to get away. But now, man, so they know where they are. Kill. But they just aren't able to do anything. The entire. Yeah, look at the damage Mord's doing right now. Yeah. And again, I, I don't know if that's really any one person's fault. I mean, that's 11 kills and Garen only has four deaths, you know. That's just the entire group doing terribly when it comes to fighting that more. This Garen, or this Galio also just incredibly tanky. Um, that also doesn't help out a lot of the engage. And I think that's just really the problem. CW just does not have enough damage to actually kill anybody right now. They can kill the vein, they can kill the loot, they can probably even kill the set. Um, but they can't really kill the, the Mord, they can't kill the Galio. And it looks like now, third Baron going into TMO6's hands. And that'll probably be the game ending Baron. I don't think CW's going to be able to weather another storm. Tech meta is balanced. Yeah, it's looking very one-sided here with the 10k lead now. I we're just not going to be able to see it. And this is this is especially sad cuz CW last game great answer. Oh, you know, the for first sure. Game was, the first game was really close, but TM managed to turn it around and then CW answers back with a beautiful game and then it's just this one-sided mess. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though, at least uh, CW actually managed to win a game in finals on, like, uh, G2. Uh, or G2. <laughs> Mordekaiser single Oh, Mord's kind of getting... Oh, but he Zanya's. He's eventually going down, and he does. Big shutdown there for Garen. But they will have to give up a lot of resources and also Meanwhile. a hit <laughs> for his death. But I think they could probably pick a fight now and win. They use an inhibitor for it, though. Yeah, they do use an inhibitor for it, though. And it looks like... I think they can probably take a team fight here without more. But, um... I don't know. That that sets a lot tankier than I thought. <laughs> so it has Locket? That's 5-head right there. 
That's just extra tank on the tank, dude. Chat, keep that faith. I think if CW manages to get fight here, they might able may be able to get soul, but I just it's nine towers to three. And the eight yeah. KB gold deficit. You know, I just <laughs> I don't know if there's much coming back from this. Maybe if it was like ten minutes ago there might be some coming back from this, but not. Yeah, exactly. The snowball's already too big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, GMO me. six forever. <laughs> Focus on squishy more, great. maybe. I mean, even focusing on the squishies, probably not going to yeah. be able to do anything about that Mordecai. Yeah, because the the thing is, is like you try to go for the squishies, but they have three tanks, so it's like yeah. you have to break through the tanks to get to the squishies, and they don't have a whole lot of ways to actually engage on the squishies other than Zach. But Zach gets melted. By yep. and, uh, you know, and like Garen obviously can't tank. Like CW's team can't really tank right now, so they can't even like get to the squishies. That's the problem. And it looks like TM's just going to be able to get a Dragon Soul contested. CW's just going to have to wait for them to fight under towers. John Cook playing up. He's got to be careful, though. I guess maybe they're looking for that last Drake before they do their final push in. Yeah, um... I think even if CW managed to win this team fight here and get that final break, and they get engaged on, and it looks like they're all going down. Ooh, again, wow. just no damage. None of those health bars are going down on TM, and they just are all going to die. And they will, and that's going to be game. Yeah. Zach just trying to escape, but he gets chased down by the cat. Oh, he's so low. Oh my god, just, just kill him already. Just put him down. Oh, don't play with your food. Yeah, they're just going to end the game. No point in killing the Zach. And that is going to be game and finals for the TMO6. Well deserved. Those GGs are in chat. Yeah, those GG. And that'll be the W to Township. Yeah, Township well will take this well final.